Hey guys, welcome back to the Public Golfers YouTube channel here with a brand new series called Should You Play? Pretty self-explanatory. Should you play these courses? Uh, so what I'll be doing is I'll be ranking the courses that I've been playing on essentially four to five different um, aspects of the course. So one of the aspects is going to be playability, the other course conditions, um, course uniqueness, amenities, and just my overall feel of the course. At the end, we'll give it a public golfer's rating. Uh, if you guys enjoy this type of video, make sure you leave a comment. Uh, let me know what you guys think about these courses. Uh, if you played them before, if you'd recommend them, if you think I'm way off or if you think I'm right on with the review. But without further ado, let's get into the review. White Tail Ridge Golf Club out in Yorkville, Illinois. Um, so starting off the review of the should you play looking at playability the number one so honestly I think it's great for all ranges of golf um, you can play from the forward tees or the back tees believe the back tees will come right around the 7,000 maybe 68 somewhere in that ballpark so it's not overly long uh, but there's enough variety in the holes you know it's not just you're going forward and backwards on all the par threes and the par fives par three was really cool um we'll get more into that about the course uniqueness but if i had to give it a rating or uh individual that could play it honestly i think from all ranges of golf you can have a good time out there there's enough challenge to keep you interested as well as there's enough holes to gain some shots back Looking at overall course conditions, so I played this course earlier on in the year and it was actually in really good shape compared to some of the other courses that I had played in the area. Now, when I think of course conditions, I think of price, right? Hey, if you're playing a higher price, you expect a higher um, quality of course and, and the conditions, the greens, everything like that. Um, but yeah, overall, I thought value-wise to what you're actually paying there, I think a round out there runs you about right around that $100 for 18 holes in a cart on a weekend. Overall, thought the course conditions were really, um, really great. Uh, bunkers, everything like that looked well-maintained. Fairways were cut. Greens looked like they were freshly cut. So everything a golfer would want course condition-wise, you would say if I had to be um, a little bit of a critique or, or to get really picky, um, some of the bunkers maybe didn't have the most sand in them, but again, it was earlier on in the year. So I, I don't really think that's a huge issue. Um, also too, you're not really supposed to be hitting in the bunkers. So overall course conditions, um, you know, I give them a thumbs up. They, they do a nice job out there. Uh, course uniqueness. So when I think of course uniqueness, I think of signature holes. And, and when I think of signature holes over at Whitetail, um, there's two that kind of come to mind to me that that maybe wouldn't be the signature holes that I, I think a lot of people would think of. So one hole that I really thought was cool was hole number eight. It's a par four, um, but you actually tee up, you lay off. It's more of a placement shot off the tee, and then you hit over into um, kind of a pretty tight green. Uh, so I really like that one. Um, there's also uh, a lot of fun holes. I, personally, for me, I, I kind of like the holes that you can't just go up and you just can't, you know, bang a driver right away. There's actually some thought that goes into, you know, hey, where do I want to be? What what yardage do I want to have into green? So I thought that was kind of a, a fun little hole. And, and uh, I think I parted, but regardless, doesn't matter. The other signature hole that I really think I, I'm a sucker for elevation. Uh, growing up in Wisconsin, you play a lot of courses that have that nice elevation. And honestly, it's not something you see where we are in um, Illinois or the greater Chicago area. Uh, so on hole number, I believe it's 17, it's a par three. Uh, you're teeing off way up above. You're going down onto a green. I don't know. I, I've always just liked those holes. I think it kind of gives you a, a cool perception when you're when you're looking and, and hitting out onto it. So um, course uniqueness overall. Again, pretty good. It's something that, uh, like I said, I think you'll get a variety of holes. I know I mentioned in the playability a little bit where you can have some fun. There are some difficult holes. One that I think of is, I believe, 15, 14 and 15, 14. You have a long par three and then uh, 15. I think it's I think it's 15 is a longer par four. Depending on the wind, you could be hitting uphill into the wind and it can kind of play forever. So uh, 
yeah, I, I think on the course uniqueness, not to uh, blabber on too long here, but I think you'll you'll enjoy your round there. There's enough different um, styles and there's some water, but again, nothing that's going to be overly challenging where it's going to scare you away on the uniqueness side. No, I, I would say there's no holes that I would consider are gimmicky holes. Um, and I know as golfers, you'll know what I mean on that side of things. Last but not least, looking at the overall course amenities. So uh, Whitetail has a really nice clubhouse. Um, it also holds, um, it sounds like a decent amount of weddings and, and different events. So I think if you're looking for a place to hold a golf outing, there's definitely enough room there. They do have a putting range. They have a driving range. The driving range is a little bit limited on uh, just how big it is. It's kind of tucked in right between behind the clubhouse, but has everything you want. Clean bathrooms, which is something I always look out for um, as you're, you, you play at some of these courses and, and the restrooms can get a little rough. So everything was well-maintained, looked nice. They have a nice little halfway house as well. <clears throat> it's a window that's actually on the outside of the clubhouse. You can pull up, get your uh, replenishments and your supplies for the back nine and head out. So overall, good amenities. Uh, like I said, I, I think they would actually play pretty well to holding um, outings. So if you're looking for a place kind of in the greater Chicago area or if you live in Naperville um, and looking for a place to hold a golf outing i think they would do a great job there they have the space um they have the room uh to hold a really nice event there all right guys so you heard my thoughts about the playability course conditions cork course uniqueness excuse me and also the amenities just the overall feel of the course so now it's probably the time you all have been waiting for what is my rating or what's the public golfer's rating i should say and I would say this course gets a solid 8.1. I think it's a above average course that if you haven't played before, you should definitely get out there and, and give it a try. I think the value is there. The opportunity to play at all different levels is there. I think you guys will enjoy the round. The staff was really great. Um, and it just seemed like there was a really good vibe, uh, which sounds uh, a weird way to explain a golf course, but it had a good vibe to it. It, it had a welcoming feel for someone who was coming in there with a camera that, uh, quite frankly, I'd never really played there before. Uh, so if you haven't already, give it a try. Public golfers rating for White Tail Ridge Golf Club. Um, golf Club or Golf Course? Golf Club out in Yorkville, Illinois, 8.1. As I mentioned before, if you guys like this content, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel. And also, let me know in the comments down below, do you agree with my rating or what else do you think I missed out on? We'll see you guys next time. Thanks.